Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Arc Basics, a show where we break down the ABCs of how to start an arc, how to accomplish things, how to achieve things, how to be the best you possibly can be. That's right, we're going with the full ABCs of arc. A for arc, B for basic, C for, well, whatever you want it to be. C can be anything. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Arc Basics. I'm Flinger Fu, and today we're going to be discussing my favorite and what I consider to be the best base locations on the island map. See, the island's been out for a long time. It was the very first map that came out for Arc Survival Evolved, and it has gone through so many iterations over the years, and it's changed quite a bit. Now, um, when I went into uh, considering what would be the best base locations in my opinion and granted this is my opinion um i took into uh consideration quite a few different things one uh well uh, one is uh it's how buildable is the area around it uh can you build nice bases um uh can you uh use the different areas around for uh coming up with all sorts of cool ideas now um granted some people like to build in a box and if you want to build in a box that is absolutely cool um if you want to build using different uh aspects of the uh of the land and then kind of incorporate them into your base this is also that kind of a video but also um Another thing that was in that I took into consideration is how close are the different resources to these bases? Uh, can you go into the different areas of the map easily? And can you also do you have do you also have access to a bunch of uh, different dinosaurs that are around? And how often will different dinosaurs wander into your area? Will it have to have a big ugly gate that goes up around the outside? Some of them, yes, you will. Um, some of them, no, you won't. Some of them are rather peaceful, and also they're close enough to a bunch of the resources that it's really accessible and really easy to get um, all that stuff. So hey, let's cut to the chase. Let's get in there, and just remember, this is my opinion, but also my opinion is driven by a lot of experience in this game. I've recorded many series on this map in this game. I've uh, been playing this game ever since it very first released onto Steam. And yeah, it's been one heck of a ride. And let's talk about, it from my experience, what are the best base locations? All right, let's get into it. All right, to start it off, I'm going to be talking about this little southern island. Now, this place right here is absolutely amazing, especially if you're a new player. Uh, this island down here in the very bottom left corner of the map it's completely sheltered uh every once in a while you will get an alpha raptor uh sometimes an alpha carno um you will get um raptors down here but it's very 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 manageable probably the most manageable out of the entire map uh this uh, area is extremely tame it has access to uh wood thatch uh, berries, fiber, um, metal. It does have access to metal, even though there's really no metal nodes. Uh, how it has access to metal is these little rocks right here. These river rocks are absolutely amazing for uh, getting metal because if you don't build next to them, they'll constantly respawn and they give you more metal than just about uh, um, any other rock except for the metal nodes themselves. So down here in this area, um, granted, you can probably put fit uh, quite a few uh, different bases down here, or you can uh, just have your own primary base if you're playing solo down here. Um, it's a really, really good spot. There's plenty of places to build as well, and also it's right next to the obelisk for if you're going to be transferring uh, servers or going over to other bits of a cluster, or do you just want to do boss fights? That way there, you don't have to go on a long trek whenever you want to take your boss fight over there, or your boss army over there. This um, place on the map, here, let me show it again, is probably uh, the best uh, beginner um, base that you can get on the map. It is absolutely phenomenal, and it is terrific. In that same vein, uh, in that same train of thought as that island right down below there's also another really cool spot where um, it's probably one of my favorite places to build in the entire game just because it is so pretty it's right up here <coughs> There's these big fields. There's plenty of river rocks all around. Uh, yeah, you are a little bit stretched for obsidian and crystal, but uh, they are a long uh, trek. But uh, this is probably one of the easiest places to establish a nice big base 
and then also it has these huge open fields where you can get all sorts of different uh, style of dinosaurs that uh, you want for your taming pleasure. It is pretty dang cool. And this is located right here on the map, just right above that island. All right, now if you're looking for a little bit riskier of a spot, this uh, spot right here, which is above the uh, um, red obelisk, right up along the shore, um, this is another fantastic spot. There's this little uh, um, precipice that comes out there that's got a nice little tree here that you can build on. Also, there is, once again, river rocks. Uh, that There's just so many of them. If you uh, don't uh, build anything in this spot right here, they will continue to respawn, and it is absolutely phenomenal with how much metal you can get from these. It is really, really impressive. Plus, also, it's close to one of my favorite places to go uh, tame dinosaurs. And this area over here that I lovingly call the mosh pit. It's because everything over here respawns wicked fast. There is a huge assortment of dinosaurs that spawn over here. You can cut from Brontos to Trikes all the way to Allosauruses and Rexes. It is really, really cool. Um, yeah, so if you have a base over there, you can come, you can set up a taming pen over here, you can lure everything in, and you can just tame until your heart's content. Plus, also, you have access, um, very close access, to, uh, the, uh, snow biome, as well as oil, and, uh, tons of crystal from these little islands that are up here. Very, very cool spot. Very, uh, nice easy to build on as well um and then also if you want to uh building up on those on that waterfall up there um uh, up above this waterfall right here um it is far enough away that it's not going to cut into the river rocks down below and uh you can actually create yourself a nice little uh base bridge or bridge base up here it's and then you have plenty of area uh, for building right over here on the side of the jungle and also you do have access to alphas which is kind of cool. Uh, that way there, if you uh, have dinosaurs that are able to take out alphas, you can level them up wicked fast because there are quite a few alphas that spawn up here. Uh, you may need a, a wall in this area, but it is totally worth it. Another one of the earlier and beginner style base locations is uh, this little area right here on the map. This just center of the island right here, it's, it's, very, very, uh, it's a really good spot to build. Um, you have access to all sorts of different things. Uh, resources are a little bit limited when it comes around to here, but uh, you have your pick of all the Therizinas that you want. Uh, you also get uh, Carnos. You get um, access to the swamp. Very close access to the Redwoods if you want to um, build a little bit closer so you can actually kind of check the trees for Thylos every once in a while. It's not too bad. But also, um, if you're going to base in this location right here, there's a spot right up on the other side right up over here that on the top of that mountain up there where there's crystal and metal so if you have an argent you can fly right up there get your stuff and then uh, come back down to your base get it smelting and then wait for this stuff up here to respawn um, it's one of the earlier base uh, areas one of the more beginner friendly uh, base locations there are ones that are a lot more challenging but this is uh, a really really good spot Another rather uh, easy and more beginner-friendly base area is this spot over here. You can build over inside of this area, but it's a little bit trickier about some of the base locations that you can get. Uh, but over here on this little island over here, it is uh, actually rather easy to build on. It's a lot easier than it seems, and it is way down here on this little bit. It's rather cool, rather impressive. You do have access to quite a bit of stuff, even crystal and metal up here on these uh, hills right up above. As you look right here, you look up to your right, uh, and uh, up on this hill up here, there's plenty of metal. All right, and probably my number two uh, easiest base location areas is this, Herbivore Island, located way down here in the bottom right of the map. This spot down here it has all sorts of loot drops that comes down around it. It has metal that actually spawns on the island. You'll have to build in a spot so where it doesn't, you don't cut off the spawns. But uh, once you uh, realize how to do that, uh, you have all the metal that you need. Uh, you don't have access, uh, a really good ready source of uh, access to crystal or anything like that. But uh, you do have a really nice lagoon out here where you can build a water pen because everybody wants to have uh, um, water dinos. Uh, it's just, and then as we see, there's Basilosaurus right down there. That is a very easy Basilosaurus tame. Um, and then there, just building up here, it's, you is building on a sloped area. So it is a little bit more challenging, 
But if you build down here on this, it is uh, a really, really easy. And then you have all this and you can leave all that up. Now, once again, this is down here. And like I said, this is probably my second favorite place to uh, build on if I want to go for a nice, relaxing uh, style base. Because there are no carnivores that spawn in this area. Just none. Uh, if you go into the water, yeah, you're going to have megalosauruses and such. But on the land right here on this island, uh, nothing with big, sharp, pointy teeth spawns on this island at all. So uh, you can just be completely at peace down here and then venture off into the uh, um, island and then do uh, what you want and then come back down here and have a nice, peaceful time. Yeah, this, this spot is actually really, really nice. All right, now we're starting to get into a little bit more challenging of base locations. These ones are a little bit harder uh, to get established. Once you do, though, uh, it's generally pretty smooth sailing from there. But uh, getting set up initially is a little bit harder. There is a lot of resources here, especially if you want to build in stone and wood and all sorts of stuff. Uh, when it comes around to the beginner areas, they're a little bit more sparse when it comes to... Uh, resources but as you get a little bit uh tougher areas uh the resources they just kind of flow so uh this spot right here um is a really really good spot it's right here on the map now uh how you would have to get metal here on this is either you go over to the herbivore island or you can go down into the caves that are kind of right down below which the caves generally tend to have some really good resources that are available inside of there now on the same vein as of right here, there's also another cool spot that's just right up here. All right, if you're looking for a slight challenge for building um, right here on these little bits that uh, come up, these are rather peaceful. If you can build up here, build a bridge over to the mainland, kind of control the flow that comes in, it's generally pretty peaceful. You do um, have plenty of river rocks here, plus also there is crystal and metal up in those hills up over there, plus also right here is the green obelisk, and this um, is located right here. It's a little bit trickier to build, but you do have an easy access to uh, water right there, which is very good, and then you can build up off the uh, um, ground, which will... Um, eliminate the need for walls those big ugly walls that nobody likes well at least i don't like them uh but yeah it's kind of important to me about uh being able to find spots like that that i can build or sometimes they're necessary so yeah it's all basically up to the builder what they prefer so hey build how you like and uh yeah that's a good spot another really good spot as i just cut into this without having to cut away is right over here around the green obelisk the green obelisk is actually a pretty decent spot uh but there is a lot of bad things that spawn so if uh you want to build up over here like right where that yellow drop is right there that's actually a pretty decent spot and it overlooks the swamp so you have access to all the cool stuff that's inside the swamp uh, it's a little bit smaller of an area but you do have plenty of access to river rocks, all sorts of stuff like that. You even have access to metal. Um, it is a more centralized location for a lot of the caves. Plus also, if you're daring and uh, you know how to do it and you're pretty uh, uh, confident in your abilities, you can go over to the Redwoods and there is so much resources inside the Redwoods. It is absolutely amazing, which brings me to my next one. All right, now this is more of an advanced base location and this is located right in the middle of the redwoods and it is uh, it's this has access to so many resources so many resources plus also has a steady stream of uh um experience that you can get from the um cave of the immune that's right over there which is uh used to be called the swamp cave now it's just called the cave of the immune it's right inside of the redwoods and this is located right here on the map and like i said this is uh, quite a bit more challenging than any of the other ones i've listed so far but it is so worth it if you are feeling daring um this is a really really good spot plus also you have access to the volcano and the volcano has so many so much crystal and obsidian and such on there it is a really really good spot uh but yeah thylacolios exist so uh yeah this uh base is not for the faint of heart and it is more of a challenging build but with also uh access to um redwood cliff platforms it makes it so much easier uh to build up here so yeah enjoy build your uh um base in the trees it's a great spot Another base location, this one isn't nearly as uh, challenging as the Redwoods base. It has access to all sorts of different stuff. This one right here is a very prime location. The only downside for this one is it has a very limited uh, source of water or readily available water. You can run pipes or you can set up... Uh, um, 
Oh, uh, areas for water collection, which uh, is kind of necessary in places like this. But there is the um, volcano up there. There's the metal mountain up there. There's the snow biome over there. There's access to Udyes. There's access to Therizinos. There's access to Rexes. There's access to all sorts of different things. Every resource that you need in the game, other than Black Pearls, is right here. And this right here is located right there on the map. The only downside is the readily available source of water, which it has none. But if you were to build over a little bit closer to this river down here, or just run pipes from down um, there, it is a very, very good spot. Yeah, um, it's a little bit more challenging than some of the other places. Actually, a lot more challenging than some of the other places, but not nearly as challenging as the Redwoods. But there is so much stuff here. So if you're looking for a place where you can tame everything, you can gather everything that you want, that's a good spot right there. All right, and here we come. This is probably one of my favorite base locations. Now, I've said uh, favorite a couple times on this, but when I say favorite, um, they're, they're in descending qualities. You know, I have one, two, and three. This is probably my number one favorite spot, and this is located right here on the map. And there is metal right here. You're actually in a very central location. There's the, re uh, the green obelisk right there. There's the redwoods right there. There's metal mountain up there. There's plenty of obsidian crystal and metal up there. Plus also you have an easy, quick source of metal right here. And you see, I do have an inky and a refining forge set up up here. Um, uh, basically you just have to wait for this stuff. Also, there's alphas galore here, so you are there's no shortage of experience. Also, you can build on one of these little uh, bits right here, or on this waterfall, which makes a, an amazing base. Um, you do have to have, um, if you build over closer to this, because that um, gigas will spawn on that um, mountain up there, you do have to have a little bit more uh, uh, defenses in than uh, some places, but if you were to build right here, you never have to worry about Gigas ever. You can just be left alone up here. Every once in a great while, you may have the occasional Argent come uh, harass you, but that's really no problem whatsoever, especially to a more uh, um, experienced Arc player. Um, so this right here, this is my number one favorite place on to build on the island. It is absolutely amazing, and this is again right here on this. All right, now another spot that's actually pretty good, and uh, a lot of people in the very early parts of the game we used to call this Hidden Valley. Now this is right here on this map. Now the reason why it's called Hidden Valley is because unless if you are flying, there are different places to get in that are hidden. You have to know where to look in order to get in if you're coming from the ground. Now uh, this is a pretty good base spot. It is lacking for a lot of different resources. And, uh, you know, for metal and such like that, crystal is kind of hard because in order to get those, you have to go to some pretty challenging areas right from the get-go. But um, if you're up for a good challenge and you like a very pretty spot, this light right here, I'm showing it again, is a really, really good spot. All right, um, and then I, when you're looking for different base locations, I would recommend staying from away from places that are known giga spawns because you can spend a long time and then all of a sudden just have everything go just kaput in a matter of moments uh, the moment a giga decides it wants to come set its sight on you. Yeah, not that great of a night. All right, now if you're looking for a little bit of a challenge, uh, yeah, I know, I may get a little bit of flack for this one, but this is actually a really good base location. Uh, if you were to um, put up a row of walls right there to keep out a lot of the stuff, um, this this little uh, bit over here on the edge of Carnivore Island is actually a really good spot because you have access to crystal, you have access to metal, you have access to as much experience as you want. You can take your dinos out there and go get... Um, just clear the island a few times, uh, rack up a ton of XP, build right here, and then um, you have access to the Cave of the Devourer, which is right over there, which gives you access to a lot more. Plus, also, there is always a loot drop coming down on this island at any time. Right now, it's a purple drop right over there. Uh, you get red drops, you get yellow drops, plus also you get uh, um, cave red drops that come down the Cave of the Devourer. This is a, If you're really interested in loot, this is a great spot. Now, there are a shortage of river rocks around here um, for when you're first getting set up, but I would recommend if you were going to set up a base here to set up a small uh, shack somewhere down the beach and then eventually find your way over here once you uh, realize that you're ready to actually uh, handle this over here. Because this, this is a pretty dangerous spot. 
Uh, and, uh, aggressive carnivores are always spawning on here. You get alphas, uh, alpha rexes, you get alpha carnos, you get alpha raptors, uh, you get argents that are flying in all the time. So yeah, if you come up here and uh, you're expecting an easy time, uh, yeah, I would go elsewhere. But yeah, like the Redwood base, this one right here, it's a very dangerous, it is high risk, very high reward though. So um, once again, right here, this is another great spot. All right, so that's going to end uh, my best base locations video for this map. Now, my favorite ones are the three that I listed. Uh, probably the one very central one that's very close to the Redwoods. Another one that is, that's way down in the bottom left-hand corner. And then uh, the... Uh uh, the other one that's over on the plains just south of the Redwoods. Um, they're really, really good spots. But then again, there's so many different base locations on this map that you can pick and choose from that, hey, I encourage you. Granted, this may be my favorite ones. This may be the best ones, in my opinion. But yeah, serious. If, uh, if a, a spot really reaches out and grabs you, build there. Yeah, I really encourage you to. It, this is an amazing game and it is so fun to uh, um, come up with different base ideas for different base locations. Alright, so hey, I hope the video helped you out. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you click that like button. I really appreciate it. It really helps me out. If you're new around here, subscribe. And until next time, this is Flinger Foo, and take it easy, everybody.